Hello folks, welcome to another of our Taste Buds series. Yes, it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Today we are making oxtails, guys. Yes, man, oxtails is what's cooking in Yadabelli's kitchen. And the first thing I want you to know is that I went to the butcher and got some beautiful oxtails and I asked them to cut it somewhat thin, maybe about an inch. Yeah, maybe about an inch. Normally oxtails are cut thicker, but I wanted them thin so that the cooking time would be shortened as much as possible the next step you want to do is you want to clean up your oxtails now i had the butcher cut off a whole lot of the excess fat but when you reach home you always have to do a little bit of you know checking so you want to wash your oxtails thoroughly and some people don't wash their meat that's okay you do what you want to do is your kitchen is your house and is your meat and you want to clean up your oxtails now the next thing i'm gonna do is add some seasoning now i'm adding some garden seasoning that's garden herbs yeah and the next thing i'm adding is some rotisserie seasoning and all of this is for marinade purposes guys this is what you use to marinate the oxtail i'm adding some easy spice meat seasoning not too much of the meat seasoning though because it's not really herbs it's like powdered seasoning i'm adding some garlic powder and of course garlic powder is a must because me love garlic powder and of course guys you want to add some jerk seasoning this is my personal blend of jerk seasoning and that's just to oomph up the flavor a little bit i have some garam masala that's Indian seasoning and I'm adding that too because I like the deepness of the flavors the last thing I'm adding is some paprika no well it's not the last thing but I'm adding some paprika and that is also to help with the color and kick it up another notch yes man trust me and the last thing I'm adding is some cayenne pepper yes red pepper or cayenne pepper and guys, I promise you, cayenne pepper is one of those things that you need to put in your oxtails. And then you want to thoroughly incorporate this. You want to mix it so well that every piece of oxtail is supposed to get some touch of this, this beautiful seasoning blend. And guys, many people will say, oh, you're adding too much seasoning, too much powdered seasoning. Guys, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm turning my hand to make fashion. The next thing I'm going to do is add a little cooking oil. And the cooking oil is to help with the seasoning, incorporating the seasoning into, you know, your oxtail. Make it nice and, you know, everything blend in. Open up the pores and the meat so that the flavors go in and sit well. And you want to thoroughly mix this and make sure everything is properly incorporated. Now let's move on to add some more stuff. Guys, this is mushroom soya sauce. And mushroom soya sauce is a beautiful, beautiful ingredient. And when you use this, you don't necessarily need browning. You don't need to add any browning because the mushroom soya sauce is so thick that it does the job for you. If you can see, it's dark and it's rich and it gives the, the meat a golden color and it also adds that rich soya sauce flavor. And so that's what I'm adding instead of my browning, traditional browning. All right. And then also I have a bunch of seasoning here like garlic ginger and i have some onions that i'm gonna be adding as well i took the liberty of cutting up some red onion maybe about half of a large onion and now i'm chopping up my ginger yeah into very very small pieces yeah you can just rough chop your ginger add your ginger with your garlic yeah and just rough chop it and all of this will go into the marinade now when you're using beef it's important to marinate for a little period of time you want to marinate overnight which is best or you can marinate for up to about 45 minutes that's how you do it and you just add your ginger and your garlic and your onion to the meat and give it a good mix and guess what you're ready to go again you know i tell you lord of mercy i can just smell everything right now it's just overwhelming my nose and this is just the marinating part of, of the whole shebang <laughs> all right guys this is what i do with my marinade i take my kitchen pan and i just put a plastic bag over it now plastic is illegal in jamaica and it should be legal in other parts of the world and so you utilize your plastic in proper ways so i'm using it to cover my marinade after about 45 minutes to an hour 
you want to put some oil on the stove make sure say your oil is hot not too hot and you want to start dropping your meat in your oil now what I've done here is I'm taking off a little bit of the seasoning of the meat so that it does not burn in the pot and you want to add your meat to the oil and this is what you would call the the browning phase of the cooking yes this is the browning segment of the cooking so you just want to drop your meat in and make sure that your meat does not have extra water so it don't dry out okay um, so it doesn't boil rather you want to stir it up and make sure that you brown every piece of meat properly and as you can see that's what I'm doing here just stirring the pot and making sure that nothing burns and at the same time nothing starts to boil too soon once it has browned to a certain level where you are comfortable then you want to add your seasonings okay and remember don't throw away your seasonings save them so you can add them back to the pot and this is where the braising phase of the the whole dish starts now oxtail as i said before is one of the toughest meat to cook and if you're not using a pressure cooker it will take some time so you have to braise it nice and slow on the fire now if you can see there are some little brown bits in the bottom of the pot this is where you want to add a little water to deglaze that and that's total flavor right there it's not burnt it's just the meat you know juices and all of that has congealed on the bottom of the pot and so you want to just add some water to that and do the deglazing process of stirring and this is why you see me extensively stirring my pot because you don't want your meat to burn you don't want them to stick and you want to get up all of that flavor of the bottom of the pot so now we're at the stewing stage the braising stage and once the, the fire has you know come up and the, the water is boiling at extensively and it has reduced in some level then you want to add more water now oxtail take a little time to cook and so you have to always be checking and adding and checking and adding and once it has gotten to a certain level then is where you want to re-season your pot for this purpose now i have some scallions i have some thyme i have some uh, carrot and i have another half of an onion and we're gonna add these to the pot as well as the famous butter beans yes and I'm using a tin of butter beans for this purpose now I also have a couple more cloves of garlic that I'm gonna be adding and of course all of these uh, ingredients will be in the description box so that you can you know peruse through and you can get some measurements I'm not a measurement guy all right so you just want to cut up your ingredients at this time and you want to add these to the pot once it has reduced nicely remember you have to check for the tenderness of your meat on a constant level once you check and the meat is tender enough then you can start the finishing process of your oxtails um, dish so you check if it is not tender enough and if the water has dried down somewhat you want to add more water you want to keep your fire on a medium to low heat at this time and so it braises nicely your oxtail should be done when the meat pulls aside or apart from the bones and it is tender fork tender and it is tender you don't have to worry about the bones you shouldn't be eating bones any at all anyway so now our bones our oxtails rather has come down nicely and this is the consistency that i wanted the gravy is nice and beautiful add in your finishing stuff now all right and i'm adding in my vegetables and the next thing i'm gonna add is my beans and once i've added my beans you just want all of this to simmer until the vegetables has cooked to a certain level and the, the gravy has reduced to whatever consistency you want it to be and guess what i'm still good to go you know you can add a little ketchup at this time yes you can add a little ketchup at this time you know or any little thing that is necessary you check for salt for instance and pepper yes man and this is where you want to add those little stuff now to help with the finishing of your sauce you want to add uh, um, country pepper if you have country pepper scotch bonnet pepper you want to add um, black pepper if it's necessary whatever is needed to get you to that point that's when you want to add it and you want to make sure everything is thoroughly incorporated and cooked and then final maybe about 10 minutes of reduction and your oxtails is done guys look at that look at that and this is the plating guys just a regular uh, evening weekday evening meal oxtails with some gungo rice and peas and some vegetables some raw vegetables of carrot and, and um, tomatoes and 
cabbage and cucumber and it's just nice that's it guys a regular routine meal oxtails with buttered beans and carrots stew down braise down nicely and i want you guys to try this in your neck of the woods and remember as usual tony hannah make fashion like share subscribe comment check out the shop now page for merchandise and as usual guys live and laugh and cook and eat thank you so much for watching yada belly tv taste buds and this is my oxtail revisited and it is divine can't wait to eat and i do hope you love it i do hope you like it i do hope you give us a thumbs up i do hope you share it and i do hope you comment good comments good comments big up on yourself love peace yeah the belly tv yeah yeah